Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am The Traveling Man and I am fresh off of an amazing week-long cruise on board the Celebrity Edge. I had such an amazing time, but there's some things we need to discuss about this cruise. So in this video, I'm going to review the Celebrity Edge and my cruise experience on my seven-day cruise to the Western Caribbean. I'll tell you all about the food, the itinerary, what I thought about the ship, and I'll even do some comparisons from the Edge to the Apex since I have sold on both ships. Tell you a little bit about what's different uh, on the apex above what's on the edge and overall what i thought about the experience and at the end of this video i'm going to be making a major announcement about a cruise that i'm going to be going on very very soon and if you like celebrity cruises you're going to want to hear about this one so let's get this full review of my celebrity edge cruise experience started all right right from the top we're going to start talking about the ship itself the celebrity edge and if you've watched any of the cruise vlog series that's out there so far that I've done on the Edge, you'll know that I absolutely love the Celebrity Edge, love the Celebrity Apex. For those of you who might not have seen any of my videos yet, maybe you're just watching this video for a comparison between the Edge and the Apex, or maybe just a review of the Edge, I will start off by saying that I fell in love with Celebrity Cruises in September of 2021 when I sailed on Celebrity Apex, back when she was in her inaugural season over in Greece. She was actually sailing from Athens and I sailed on her on a seven day adventure to the Greek islands. And all those videos are here already on the channel. So make sure you go back and watch those to get my full review. There's a full ship tour of the Apex. Love that ship. That ship made me fall in love with celebrity cruises. And I immediately came home from that cruise and booked more Celebrity Cruises in the future, including the one I just went on, On the Edge. So when I boarded the Celebrity Edge, I already knew what to expect. I knew that the Apex and Edge are pretty much identical in most ways. There are some differences that I'll cover. But I knew that the ship was going to be incredible. The ship itself, the Celebrity Edge, was going to be like a work of art. And folks, that's exactly what I got from the moment I stepped on board on that very first day until the moment I stepped off the ship on the last day, I was constantly wowed. I was constantly feeling like I was at a luxury resort, which is exactly what the Celebrity Edge is. It's beautiful in every way. The ship itself cost, I think, somewhere between $1 billion and $1.5 billion dollars to build. That's more than I think just about any cruise ship out there. Even those mega of the sea ships that are the biggest in the world, they might have cost around about what the Celebrity Edge, Celebrity Apex, and the Celebrity Edge class cost. But the Celebrity Edge is nowhere near as big as those ships. And that's because every square inch, every square centimeter of Celebrity Edge, Celebrity Apex are designed in such a way to make you feel just luxurious and just because it's high end and luxurious feeling doesn't always mean that you're paying just an outrageous price so the ship i feel was amazing i am in love with the celebrity edge class of ships i think that they're beautiful i think that their layout and the flow of the ships as you walk throughout them uh, they have art all throughout the ship it's it's beautiful i think the theater is great that they have it's sort of the wraparound design that they have in the theater and i think that's amazing i think that the state rooms are so well done the infinite verandas i know a lot of folks have a lot of mixed reviews about those but personally i love the infinite verandas one of my favorite places on the edge and i think this is where celebrity has excelled because now you'll notice that a lot of the modern cruise ships that are being built, they all like to have some sort of a theater or some sort of special experience in the back of the ship. They all like to have that glass aft on their ships. Anthem and Quantum class ships on Royal, they have the, I think it's called the 270 uh, theater back there. But on Celebrity Edge class ships, they actually have Eden. And I think Eden is fantastic. You go back there and it's just greenery everywhere. They have a really cool bar set up in there. I like the live performances. They have live music all evening in Eden. So it's a nice place to just sit and relax. Of course, uh, one of the things I discovered on Celebrity Edge is the Eden Cafe. And I'll talk more about that in the food section. But everything that's contained in Eden, I think is so well done. It's just so amazing to go back there and you have that complete like 270 degree view of the ocean. You can see the wake back behind you. Day or night, it's an amazing place to be. And that's one of my favorite places on the ship. And I think it's what make Celebrity Edge such a work of art and so neat and so unique. I also love the outdoor section that they have there. And just outside of Eden, they actually could say it's for smokers. And that is one of the few places that you can smoke on board Celebrity Edge. But I like to go out there while we were coming into port or as we were leaving port because you're right there near the water and you can see all the operations that are happening on dock. 
in order to get the ship in and out safely. So I can't really say much more about the ship. I love it, so I give it an A+. I don't think you could make a more perfect cruise ship. Uh, if you're really looking for something unique, a work of art, to sell something like you never have before and you've never been on a Celebrity Edge class ship, then make sure you sell on the Celebrity Edge, the Celebrity Apex, soon the Celebrity Beyond, and coming in 2023, the Celebrity Ascent. And you best believe you'll see all those at some point or another here on this channel. So much like the ship, there's not much I can say about the service other than it's amazing. Uh, from the moment I stepped on board the ship, the folks, the crew that work on Celebrity, they were all greeting me, they were all saying hello, they were all smiling, they were all friendly. I can contrast that and call out some other experiences that I've had in the past year on other cruise lines and tell you how that service was, but we're not gonna go there. I'm just gonna say that the service was spectacular on Celebrity Edge from in the first 30 minutes because I remember I started out my first day on board in that video I was just once I got to my room I was all smiles in that video talking about how fantastic the crew was because everyone that I had interacted with that morning from the moment I stepped inside of the terminal there in Fort Lauderdale to the moment I was on board and in my stateroom everyone was fantastic. I went to guest services first thing to see if I might be able to get some sort of an upgrade just to see what they would say uh, and they actually were like, it's going to be thousands of dollars, but we actually, to be honest with you, think you're in a better stateroom already because I was in aqua class and they were telling me that the perks I had in aqua class outweighed what you would get with a suite because the suites were already pretty much full. So I appreciated that honesty and I appreciated the expediency of my experience overall at guest services. That was my only time I had to interact with them, uh, thankfully, throughout the course of the cruise. But um, other than that, the crew and the dining areas were always fantastic. Now I was in aqua class on this cruise, so I did have access to blue, and in blue restaurant, you actually can elect to have the same servers, no matter if you go in there for breakfast or for dinner, so I had the same crew each time, and they were phenomenal. They gave me just about the best service that I've ever had on a cruise ship before, and for that I'm very thankful. Every time I went in there, it was consistent service. Uh, they kept my water and my drinks, filled at all times. They brought my food out uh, very quickly after I had ordered it. It was always hot, so I appreciated the staff in there as well. So yeah, A plus for the crew and the service that I received on board Celebrity. It couldn't have been better. I didn't have a single bad experience with, with service on board the ship. Everything was perfect. And I say that without sugarcoating anything. I'm not making any bad experience better. I literally cannot think of a single bad interaction or experience I had with any of the crew or any of the service on board. Now let's talk about the food. This is something we need to talk about because I did have a bad experience with food on Celebrity Edge and I can't even say that with a straight face. It was only, it wasn't even a bad experience. I'll say bad like this because it was a little bit different than the other experiences that I had had so far uh, on the Celebrity Apex and Celebrity Edge. I did go to lunch on one of the sea days. They had lunch in Cosmopolitan Restaurant and that was the only food I've had so far. 14 days so far on board a Celebrity Cruise Ship and that day in the Cosmopolitan Restaurant was the only time I was like, this isn't my favorite. That was the only time I felt like that, you know? And it wasn't that the food was bad, it wasn't that it tasted bad, it wasn't cold. It just was that it wasn't as good as the other food that I had on board. And that is my only bad experience with food. So that's gonna tell you how great the food was. Now, as I mentioned, I did have access this cruise to the Blue Restaurant. Blue is an exclusive dining experience available only to those passengers that are sailing in the Aqua Class. And I'm so glad that I was part of the Aqua Class this cruise. Not because I was able to go to the spa or any of the other amenities that come with it, but just for Blue. And in fact, when I did my upgrade to Aqua Class, I had Blue in mind. I had heard a lot of good things about Blue and I was like, I have to go there, I have to try it. So thankfully, I was able to do just that this cruise and it did not disappoint. I went there many times for breakfast, uh, but just about every night of the cruise, I think other than two nights of the cruise, I went there for dinner and it was fantastic. The food was always hot. I mean, hotter than I thought food could even be served. The server would literally come to the table every night with like a pot holder under my plate and be like, this is extremely hot. And the food was always so hot you would have to wait a minute for it to cool down that's not the typical experience on a cruise ship normally you get your food and it's lukewarm or it feels like it's been sitting out in the galley for a little bit before they brought it to your table but not at blue y'all blue was fantastic so a solid a plus for blue i can't recommend you eating there enough so enough about me going on about blue because i could talk about that all day let's talk about some of the other food options i'll start with one of the more obvious and simpler options on board and that's the ocean view cafe 
The Ocean View Cafe is simply the onboard Lido restaurant or the buffet, the wind jammer if you sell Royal. So this is where you can go for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then they also have a late night option. I think that's from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, and get food off the buffet. But all the food in there was always good. It didn't taste like the typical buffet food that you'd get on a lot of cruise lines where it'd just be kind of lukewarm or cold and not that flavorful or particularly good. The food was always incredible. Every time I went to the Ocean View Cafe, one day I walked in there and it was just like full cakes in the bakery. Like they had 15 different cakes and these looked great. And it was like a special cake buffet that they had that day. Speaking of cakes and baked goods, one place I do have to specifically call out for how great it was is on deck four, they have the coffee shop right there in the main atrium. And they have a little selection, in addition to all the coffee, of course, they have a selection each day of different pastries and baked goods and cakes and I could not stop myself from going down there just about every day to get some of the macadamia nut cookies because y'all, if you like macadamia nut cookies, you need to get on Celebrity Edge and eat one of those because that was some good stuff. I loved it. They didn't have them every day and when they didn't have those, I would get a piece of cake or something and everything from there was fantastic. So I'm just here to tell y'all whether you get baked goods on the Lido, whether you get uh, some macadamia nut cookies at the coffee bar, whether you're getting some dessert in the main dining room or a dessert in blue, you're going to be very satisfied with what you get because they do food right on Celebrity. I did mention that I did dine in Eden and I thought Eden was good, but Eden was not as good. This is my first comparison between the Edge and Apex because Eden was not as good on Edge as it was on Apex. I was blown away by Eden on Apex when I ate there back in September. But this time it was a different menu and they called it their old menu. The chef actually came out. She said it was the old menu that actually debuted with Eden and the Celebrity Edge back when they came out in 2018. They do expect that this menu is gonna be updated to the Apex menu. The Apex menu is the new Eden menu and they will be updating the Edge to that very soon, they said over the next couple of months. I am glad I got to try it at least and it wasn't bad food. It wasn't that the food tasted terrible. The food was still great. I just didn't feel that the portions that you got were as substantial as they were over on the Apex. Now there were more courses offered on Eden than there were on Apex, but I just felt that the offerings were better on Apex as well. And I've done a full review of Eden and I'll talk all about that in the Sea Day vlog that I'm gonna put out from my Celebrity Edge adventure. So make sure you watch that to get my full comprehensive review of Eden. So while it wasn't as good on the Edge as it was on the Apex, it was still great. And it's still some of the best $55 you can spend on board a Celebrity Edge ship. One of the absolute gems of the dining experience on board Celebrity Edge actually came in at Eden with the Eden Cafe. And Eden Cafe is only open for breakfast and lunch, and it's only open for lunch on certain days of the cruise. I think on maybe sea days is the only day you're gonna get lunch, but y'all don't sleep on that place because I didn't see a lot of people back there, but they have really good offerings. All the selections there are great. Unfortunately, I didn't discover Eden Cafe until about the middle of the cruise, and then when I wanted to go there for lunch, I wasn't actually able to until the very last day of the cruise, which is our last sea day of the cruise, and I had the best sandwich I've ever had on a cruise ship and maybe anywhere. It was like a prime rib sandwich and it had these caramelized onions on it, y'all. It was delicious. Oh, Eden Cafe. That's another eatery that's worth the cruise fare all in itself. So I highly recommend if you go on a ship that has Eden that you absolutely try out that eatery because it is a gem. So considering all those highs in my dining experience and that one low, that one low in 14 days, y'all. I think I would give food on Celebrity Edge overall a solid A rating. The food was all good even when I had the lunch experience where I didn't particularly care for it. It wasn't terrible. But I feel like I ate some of the best food I've ever eaten in my life on board that show. Oh, one more thing on food. I will say inside the Solarium, they have a little cafe there. It's like the spa cafe or something. Y'all, they make their own like little granola bars in there. Go in there and check that out. I didn't go in there, but maybe once or twice. Uh, but I always got some of that granola bar that they had. It was like homemade and it's delicious. So next up is the itinerary. And this itinerary, the cruise left from Fort Lauderdale, took me to Nassau. Then we had a day at sea, followed by Costa Maya, Roatan, and then Cozumel before another sea day and then back in Fort Lauderdale. Now, originally I think this cruise was supposed to dock in Key West instead of Nassau. 
and Grand Cayman instead of Roatan. And I've still yet to make Grand Cayman, y'all. I keep booking cruises to get there. And either the stop gets removed from the itinerary or we miss it due to weather or something. But I promise I'll make it there someday. The itinerary was great. At first, I was like, oh, great. Another cruise to the Western Caribbean. It's not my favorite. But in the end, I actually really enjoyed it. I did take advantage of some onboard credit I had and booked excursions in every port directly through the cruise line, with the exception of Cosmo. And I found those excursions to be great. They made the time in port very fulfilling and I really enjoyed it. So I think the itinerary was fantastic. I also feel like Celebrity really loaded this cruise down with ports, which was awesome. I know when you might go on other cruise lines, they might just take you to Costa Maya, Cozumel, and Belize or Roatan and you don't get the extra stop. So I'm glad Celebrity at least put in the effort to give us that extra stop in Nassau when they could have just made it a day at sea and made more money. But Celebrity is about taking you to beautiful places and not just taking your money on a sea day. So they're cool to just add an extra port like that. So I would give the itinerary on this cruise a solid B and I'm going to be talking about every port we were in on a video so make sure you see those videos including the Costa Maya video, especially the Costa Maya video because I did an excursion there. It was one of my most favorite things I've done in the Caribbean so far so make sure you check that out. Now as promised, I did want to give a comparison between the Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. And I'll start by saying I didn't notice too many differences. These ships are pretty much identical. I will tell you the one or two places where I did see a difference. The first being in the Solarium. On Celebrity Apex, they actually have more hot tubs inside the Solarium than they do on Celebrity Edge. In Celebrity Edge, there's just one. It's a pretty big hot tub. Uh, but when you're getting off the elevators and walking through the sliding glass doors into the solarium, the hot tub's kind of just right there. But on Celebrity Apex, there's actually two, and they're a little bit further back, closer to the wall in the solarium on either side of the pool. The other difference that I noticed was there was a little bit less art on Celebrity Edge than Celebrity Apex. And one of the ways I noticed this was that on Celebrity Apex, right outside the Ocean View Cafe, there's this big like stone face looking structure, which was really cool. But they didn't have that on Celebrity Edge. They actually had cornhole there instead. I think that's it. I think those are the only two places where I noticed any difference. Other than that, it was like pretty much the same ship. And I'm sure there's other places. And let me know down in the comments if you sell both of those ships. Let me know some of the differences in those ships because I really couldn't identify many. So they're pretty much interchangeable. So I said that to say, if you've sold on the edge and you loved it, you're gonna love the Apex, vice versa. If you've sold on the Apex, you're gonna love the edge. And if you've never been on either of them, boy, are you missing out. You need to get on there and book you one right now because the Celebrity Edge class is the way to cruise. It's my favorite, so much so. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me say I'm gonna be on the Wonder of the Seas uh, in May over in Europe. Well, that's been canceled, y'all, because I can't stop, I'm addicted. Um, I'm obsessed with Celebrity Cruises and the Edge class ships. So I'm very excited to let you know in just a few months from now, a couple months from now, I'm gonna be heading over to Europe as planned, but I'm not gonna be going on the Wonder of the Seas. I'm gonna be going on the brand new Celebrity Beyond. That's right, I'm gonna be on one of the first few cruises of Celebrity Cruises brand new ship, Celebrity Beyond. She's gonna debut at the end of April this year and I'm going to be on one of her first cruises. So make sure you go down below and subscribe because I'm going to bring you a ship tour. I'm going to bring you all the content from Onboard Celebrity Beyond. I'm so excited about this ship. Like I said, the Edge and the Apex are very similar. The Beyond's supposed to be similar to that, except they're adding on to her. So she's going to be a longer ship. She's going to be a heavier ship. She's going to feature some more staterooms and I think also an expanded sunset bar on the back. She's going to have more hot tubs. I'm super pumped to see the ship. I'm super pumped to be in Europe again. So please make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments. Uh, what do you want to see? What do you want me to show you? What do you want me to feature here on the channel from Celebrity Beyond? Because I want to show you guys what you want to know. I want to answer all your questions as best as I can. So make sure you let me know down in the comments what you want me to feature when I sail on one of those first few sailings of Celebrity Beyond. So y'all, that wraps it up. My entire cruise experience on Celebrity Edge, A plus, all across the board. I absolutely loved it. The ship, the crew, the food, the itinerary, the aqua class, everything was fantastic. And it just, of course, as you've seen, it's evident I've already booked another cruise and have other cruises on board Celebrity this year. That just shows you how much I love this Celebrity experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have found it informative. Make sure you go down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. It does help my channel out greatly. And until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.